Hello guys and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. So today's video is actually going to be a guide. It's going to be a quick start guide for Hypixel Skyblock. This is actually a video I did way back like when Skyblock first started but a lot of things have changed about the game now and I figured it's something that I should probably remake uh, just to give a more accurate version, up to date version to help the new players to Skyblock. So uh, here you go. Also, really quick plug, since this should actually help a lot of the people watching this video too. Uh, we are giving away a, like 25 million coins on my Discord server right now. So if you want a chance to go win some coins, I recommend you go join my Discord server and it'll definitely kickstart your Skyblock career if you are just starting out. I'm also going to have more information about a really good money making opportunity at the end of the video. So stick around if you're interested in that. So I've played this game Skyblock since the first day it came out and pretty much in the first couple days I made a guide about a quick start. Uh, whatever for skyblock uh, but again that's been long outdated a lot of things have changed about the game so i want to go ahead we're going to go over some of the stuff is still the same but some of it's different um so the first thing that you're going to want to do when you log on to skyblock you'll have a fresh island you need to build over to the hub portal and once you get off the island the first place you're going to want to go is let me get to the hub come over here to these farms in the hub they have these wheat farms in the hub break some get a good amount and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over here to an npc like this farm merchant right here and you can just go ahead and sell that stuff to them now that went into a sack for me so it's not in my inventory but uh, you'll sell it to them and that'll get you a little bit of coins it's not a lot but it'll get you a little bit what you can do from there is actually talk to the farm merchant again buy this rookie hoe it gives you 50 percent extra seeds uh, and that's just going to make farming this stuff even better so after that what you're going to want to do is you'll just be over here with your rookie hoe and you're just going to keep farming this stuff for a while probably get around like uh 10 thousand like 8 to 10 thousand coins i feel like would be pretty good from doing that it shouldn't take you too long then what you can do is take that money over here to the auction house and you're going to want to look up a lapis all right then you're going to go to the armor section and go to lowest price uh you can go to bin so over here there's an option for buy it now this just means whatever price is listed here you'll immediately be able to buy it for that and uh 1000 for these boots right here that's actually a good deal these other ones are kind of overpriced so i wouldn't spend more than like like 3,000 on one of these pieces, maybe 4,000 max. But you obviously don't see a lot on there, so then what you can do is you can go to uh, auctions only and then go to ending soon. And then you can hit right click this arrow right here to take you to the last page. And this is usually where you're gonna wanna look at them to bid on. See these have a couple minutes left and they're really cheap. So this is where you just wanna bid on these. Get yourself a full set of lapis armor. That's gonna be the first set you'll want. And again, do that using the money that you collected from the farm and then you you know, you know got the stuff, sold it to the merchant. And then just do that to make as much money as you need to win the armor set. Now the next important thing, this is a really you know big part of Skyblock. It's where you come to sell and buy a lot of things is the bazaar. So what you're going to want to do is unlock him because you don't have him unlocked by default. So there are skills in this game. Uh, if we come here to my skill section, there's one here for farming, one for mining, and one for forging. These are the three we care about right now. Uh, these skills you have to all have at level 7 in order to be able to use the bazaar. So while you were over here farming the crops, you most likely already got to farming 7. Um, there's a good chance of it. If not, just get yourself the rest of the way there. Once you've done that, I would go for forging next. You can use some of your money to come over here and talk to the lumber merchant. Buy a promising axe is what I would recommend at least. It gets efficiency levels the more you use it. And then you take it over here to these logs and you just mine these until you hit foraging seven. Should only take a few minutes. And then after that, you need to get mining seven. So what I would recommend is actually a few things before you actually go down to the mines. First, you're gonna to wanna to talk to the mine merchant. And what I would do is either buy a promising or a golden pickaxe. To be honest, I think I would buy promising though. And I'll tell you why. Uh, you can actually enchant your um, pickaxe for really cheap. So if you want to get efficiency five on your pickaxe, what you need to do is come over here to the librarian and he sells efficiency books. So you can buy one of these and then put it on your pickaxe. It's going to cost nine experience levels. And what you can do is you can just buy some experience bottles from here um, and then splash them on yourself to go ahead and um, get those levels for that. It'll probably cost around like 500 coins maybe to do that. It's not too expensive. And then you're going to want to buy 15 more books, so 16 total, and then just combine them onto the pickaxe. So once it has efficiency 1, you combine another 1, and it'll have efficiency 2. Then you make an efficiency 2 book, combine it, efficiency 3, and you go all the way up to 5. And all the combining is going to be completely free once efficiency 1 is on the pickaxe. 
Now, the reason why I recommend you do this with a promising pickaxe is because you'll be able to mine other types of ores besides only coal. With the gold pickaxe, you'll only be able to mine coal, so yeah. And before we move on with the mining stuff, I then recommend that you come over here and buy an undead sword from the weaponsmith for 100 coins. And then you do the same thing, but you want to get smite. So he also sells smite. Do the same exact thing, but with smite on this sword, uh, because a lot of the mobs down in the mines are going to be undead. And so smite is what you want with the undead sword, because the undead sword also does extra your damage to undead mobs so then once you've done that you should have all the gear you need what you'll do now is talk to the blacksmith and then he's gonna tell you to mine 10 coal you can come right down here mine 10 coal and then bring it back over here to the blacksmith and he's gonna allow you to put a reforge on one of your weapons which reforges basically give like small stat boost to your weapons so what you're gonna want to do is put your undead sword in here and click the reforge button you'll get some random reforge hopefully you'll get a good one uh, don't spend any money to reforge it just use the 10 coal for now and then once you have that, you'll be good. You just want to come down here, run this way, and there's a portal to the next mine right over here. This is going to be the gold mine. And actually, you're just going to use this to go all the way to level 7. If you want, you can also get an enchant right here called Telekinesis. Uh, it costs 100 coins from Rusty, and it'll Im immediately put um, items into your inventory when you kill a mob with a sword or when you break something if, you, if it's on a pickaxe. Um, so yeah, that can be kind of useful. Then you can also talk to the lazy miner if you want. You don't necessarily need to, but I would. Just talk to him really quickly. He wants you to grab a pickaxe for him. It'll have smelting touch on it, which is actually kind of nice. And you basically just follow the path I just took. This is the pickaxe right here. And once you've uh, collected that, you're just going to mine ores until you reach mining level 7. And this is the area that actually, I would actually recommend you do it in too if you just follow that path I just took. This is a really good spot right here. Look at all the ores. So then once you've hit mining level 7, there's one last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some basic minions set up. I usually just go for diamond minions. Honestly, I'm not totally sure which early game minion is going to make you the most money. Um, you could just base it off of a collection you want to go for as well. And by the way, we just came over here, we jumped on the portal, this is the next mining island called the Deep Caverns. But what I would do is I would probably pick between Lapis, Redstone, and Diamond. And what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to have to mine a certain amount of that material to be able to unlock a minion for it. Before I explain the rest of that, you're going to want to come and talk to this lift operator right here. He's going to tell you to go find the way down, but there is a way to cheese it. Um, hopefully this is like something I'm allowed to show you. I think it is. I don't think the admins really care. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is once you've talked to him, you want to come right here on the edge of this. And you're going to jump right down here. And what it's going to do is it's going to unlock each level of the mine for you. And once they're all unlocked, you'll be able to see them all in this menu here when you right click this and instantly teleport to them. So again, at this point, you're going to have to decide whether you want to start collecting lapis, redstone or diamond. My recommendation would actually probably be redstone just because the collection is really useful, which by the way, the collection, uh, basically collections allow you to unlock different things in the game. I won't go into these in this video very much. You can watch other stuff about that, but basically they allow you to unlock stuff in the game. The redstone one is actually a pretty useful one, but lapis and diamond are also not bad ones to go for. Anyways, once you've picked which one you want to go for, by the way, you do want to be careful of these mobs as well. I kind of wasn't thinking about it because they don't even attack me, but they will attack you or the pigmen won't until you start mining ores. Uh, if the other mobs will attack you, just be careful of them. Uh, with your undead sword and your lapis armor, you should be able to survive a decent amount. So um, yeah, just do what you can to stay alive. It doesn't matter if you do die a couple times, though, it's not a big deal. Just deposit all your coins before you come here. And so yeah, then you're just going to want to go ahead and mine whichever ore it is you chose to mine. And once you hit the collection level one for it, it'll tell you in chat. You can also, if you aren't sure, just come over here, look in the collection and check for yourself. But you'll be able to see you have the minion. So right here we have the red sub minion recipe and that's what you want. You can go ahead and go back to the hub and now we're actually going to go ahead and use that bazaar we unlocked earlier. If you come over here, what I would do is get a little bit more money. You could go over there to the farm if you want or whatever. And what you're going to want to do is go and buy as much redstone as you can, or it doesn't have to be a ton, but a decent amount. And then that way you'll be able to craft some minions. So this is actually the recipe right here for the redstone minion. You need to get a wooden pickaxe and then surround it with a bunch of redstone. And you can also upgrade these minions by just surrounding them with more of that material or whatever, um, whatever it is you chose. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is get five redstone minions uh, because that is the starting, um, you know, amount of minions you can have on your island. And again, you saw how to craft them. You can come over here to the farm and, you know, get as much money as you want to buy more redstone to upgrade them as far as you want. Uh, but then once you have those, you just want to return to your island. You're going to have a cobblestone minion by default. You can go ahead and pick that guy up 
And actually, I'll show you how to pick minions up. Here are my minions over here. Uh, when you right click the minion, there's a one right here, a bedrock called, it says pick up minion on it. You just click that, picks the minion up. I'm not gonna do it with my minion because it'd be a little bit of a mess to place it back down, but uh, you get the point. So you wanna pick up your cobblestone minion and then just put down your five redstone minions. Make sure that they have a five by five area to work in with no other blocks. Um, and then, yeah, you should be fine. As you can see, they like place a layer below where they are. So they need a five by five area like this. Although the block under them doesn't matter. And then yeah, past that, that's pretty much the basics you need to start playing Skyblock. There is a lot of things to do in this game. Obviously, I cannot explain them all, but there's plenty online, plenty of videos, even some videos I've made, and I'm gonna also be updating. I'll be updating more videos um, about this type of stuff. So you can just go ahead and search around, look for different things to do in Skyblock. Uh, if you have questions, you can go ahead and comment them below as well and try to answer some of your questions. And uh, yeah, that'll be about it for this. So really quickly here before I end the video, I did just want to quickly mention that money making opportunity I was talking about. If for some reason you're watching this video and you're not just starting Skyblock, you happen to have 5 million coins sitting around and are looking to make a lot more money. Uh, I have actually partnered with someone known as Gemini. In his Discord server, he actually teaches uh, methods for making a ton of money in this game. There's a lot more information about it in my Discord server. If you join there, look in the announcements tab, you'll see um, a whole bunch of information about it. But basically for 5 million coins, you get access to, I think it's five different money making methods. And he has told me that people make an average of around 80 million coins a day using these methods. Of course, that's gonna depend how much you use them and stuff though. But they can be really good and he's used them himself to earn like billion, like he's made like 30 billion coins. And actually, if you happen to win one of the giveaways we're doing, you'll have the coins to actually pay for it if that's what you want to spend it on. But that's totally up to your choice. Um, but anyways, the reason I partnered with him to do this is so that I can actually, uh, a good portion of the profits of it are going to be going to me. And I'm going to be using those profits to actually fund more interesting videos. I want to get some more interesting content on the Hypixel Skyblock out for you guys. So we're using it to make me some money and I'll be able to make better videos for you guys. So yeah. All the money from that goes right back into videos and also the money he makes he usually just gives it away so yeah anyways i'll go ahead and end this one here now so if you did enjoy please leave a like consider subscribing if you are new around here and i will see you all next time all right see you guys